Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of sheet metal fabrication tech. Whether you are a DIY enthusiast or a professional fabricator, this video will introduce you to some essential techniques and tools that are used in working with sheet metal industry. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The the first step in sheet metal fabrication is cutting. Cutting a sheet metal part is a very important process to begin with. There are various tools you can use such as tin snips, laser cutters, water jet cutter, aviation snip, electric shears, depending on the thickness and complexity of the shape of the metal and the shape you are cutting with. It is crucial to measure accurately and mark the cutting lines before making your cuts because once you cut, you cannot undo that. And to make it process easy, we have now different cat softwares that can help you through this process. Once you have cut your sheet metal, it's time to bend and form into a desired shape. For a simple bend, and thin sheet metal you can easily use a manual press brake or a bending jig. However, for more intricate shapes or more complicated shapes or even for a thicker material and repetitive bends, a proper CNC press brake or a roll forming machine may be necessary. It all depends on your requirement. Remember, always use proper safety precautions while working with bending tools because when you are working with press brick and other metal cutting tools it is very easy to cut your finger and that is why we have to use cut proof gloves and steel cap shoes as well next process is welding and welding is another essential technique in sheet metal fabrication mainly to join different metal pieces together Depending on the type of two metals and the project requirement, you may use various welding methods such as MIG welding, TIG welding or spot welding. There are still various more kind of weldings in the market, but these are the mainly used welding processes in the market. For welding, it is very crucial to clean and prepare the metal surface before the welding to make sure you have a strong and durable job. So apart from bending and welding and cutting, there are some other sheet metal fabrication and forming techniques that you can explore. These include techniques like roll forming, spinning and dip drawing. Each method has its own unique application and requirements of specific tools and skills. Experimenting with these techniques can open up a whole new creative possibilities in the world. Okay, now you have fabricated your sheet metal piece, it's time to give them a finished look. Once a part or product is fabricated, you can finish it by using different methods such as grinding, sanding or polishing to remove any unwanted imperfections or sharp edge. Okay, on top of it, you can also apply different coatings such as paint, powder coating or patina to protect the metal and enhance its appearance. Also one of the processes that I missed is called galvanizing. It is also used as one of the coating process. Hey guys, before I wrap this up, let's talk more about safety. Working with sheet metal can involve sharp edge flying debris and potentially harmful substance in the fumes. So make sure you have your all safety equipment on, make sure you have overalls on, make sure you have gloves on, make sure you have safety glasses on, just for your own safety. Remember, always wear proper PPE, includes glasses, gloves and respirator if necessary. Keep your work area tidy, clean and organized to prevent any unfortunate accident. And that brings us to the end of this introduction of the metal fabrication techniques. So, 
In this video we have covered cutting, bending, welding, forming, finishing and some safety consideration for your workshop. Remember, always practice makes man perfect so don't be afraid to take a step forward and do some experiment and learn from your mistake. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more exciting micro projects.